What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 8.3 has been released. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and walk you guys through all the new features of iOS 8.3. Now keep in mind that if you are jailbroken, you do not want to upgrade to iOS 8.3 if you want to keep your jailbreak. iOS 8.3 as well as iOS 8.2 right now are not jailbreakable. So if you upgrade, you can't downgrade to iOS 8.1.x. So just keep that in mind because there always seems to be some people that accidentally upgrade and then they can't jailbreak their device. So if you guys want to stay up to date with the jailbreak, make sure you're following me on Twitter and I'll be sure to let you guys know if anything comes up. But on to the new features of iOS 8.3. So first let's jump into the Photos app here and just a real small change but you can see right here that we have some icons for the album. So right here we have for the camera rolls just a couple of squares. Right here for videos we obviously have a camcorder. Then we have the slow-mo emblem as well as the time-lapse emblem or icon. Just to kind of give you a better visual of what those albums are if for some reason you can't read. So if we jump back here we can also go into our settings and tap on messages and this is going to allow us to uh, filter unknown senders. So if we have multiple messages from obviously our known senders and then we have some for unknown senders then you're gonna be able to filter those out. So you just toggle this on and then you'll see right here if we jump into our messages that we have this little uh, filter right here that says contacts and SMS and then over here we have unknown senders. So if you have those unknown senders they're gonna show up right there. Now for all you emoji fans out there, then you're going to be pretty stoked for this next update. You can see right here if we go into our messages and we create a new message and open up emojis, you'll notice that we have a different layout for the emoji keyboard. We have all of our sections right down here and you can still tap on these if you want to, but you don't have to anymore. You can see if we start to scroll through that they're going to automatically switch over to that next section. So that's just a little nice feature to have so you don't always have to tap on these and then try to figure out which section the particular emoji you're looking for is in. And you'll get an indicator of what section you're in as you can see right there for travel and places and then when we actually start to swipe over we have activity, celebration, food and drink, all that good stuff. Now if we go over here to the actual people you'll notice that we have different emojis for the family just to be a little more politically correct and we can also go over here to let's say an emoji and all these yellow faces we can actually change to any of these as you can see right here. So you have all different nationalities or colors uh, right there that you can choose from so you can use whichever one you're looking for. So another new feature in 8.3 is wireless CarPlay. Now I'm not going to be able to show you that in particular in this video but basically all it is is allowing you to wirelessly connect to CarPlay in your car without having to actually connect a USB lightning cable which is what you had to do in previous versions. And another new feature with Siri is the ability to call people directly on speaker. So you can see right here, call Obama on speaker. So I don't actually have a SIM card in this phone right now, but you can see right there that it actually was going to try to call someone on speaker and it does it just fine. Something you get on the 6 Plus, and I believe it's on the 6 as well, is a bigger space bar when you're typing in the search field in Safari. So you can see right here that we basically have the same setup as we did previously, but this is just because this is a smaller device. So you can actually see that we have the exact same layout as we did on the previous versions, except for the larger screen devices as you can see right here. So that space bar is going to be bigger, and it's going to make that Go button a little bit smaller. So you can tell the difference right here. We also have Google two-factor authentication support. So this is going to allow users that have two-factor authorization enabled to use the standard two-factor authentication flow rather than having to generate an app-specific password for signing in. Now here for the password settings in 8.3, we actually have a new toggle that allows us to toggle off the password if we're downloading something free from the App Store. Now in order to get access to this, you are going to have to toggle on Always Require right up here at the top and then this will be accessible and then you can toggle that on or off depending on your preference. Also Apple Pay and Passes in your passbook are going to be separate, allowing you to more easily navigate and manage. 
Now that's all the features for iOS 8.3, but there were a ton of bug fixes. And if you guys want to check those out for yourself, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on and you can check those out to see if you're having an issue with something. You can see if it's fixed in 8.3. So let me know what you guys think about 8.3 in the comments below. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, peace.